Hello everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I have probably one of the coolest products in front of me today. People ask me all the time, hey Erica, what's your favorite screen protector? Well, it's the Glass T. This is the Glass TR from Spigen SGP for the iPhone 5. It is a premium tempered glass screen protector, so it's basically like having a Gorilla Glass screen on top of your Gorilla Glass screen. If you're like me, you don't want scratches on your Gorilla Glass display. And also, the more that you scratch up a Gorilla Glass display, that layer of compressive stress that makes it as hard as it is, is compromised. So that means that the more scratches you get, if there is an impact on that screen, it's easier to crack it. So it is important always to put a screen protector on your display, whether or not you care about the scratches, just for the integrity of that layer of compressive stress that makes scroll glass what it is. So having one of these screen protectors is like having super uber protection on your phone. So just say that you were to drop your iPhone 5 and you have one of these babies on your phone, the impact would be absorbed by the glass screen protector that you have on here and your glass screen underneath will remain unscathed. So any other screen protector that you have, sure, will protect from scratches, but it's not going to protect from impact. So that's probably one of the best qualities of having a Gorilla Glass display on top of your Gorilla Glass display. It's genius, right? As advertised on the box here, the ASF, the anti-shattered film, is that layer of silicone adhesive that keeps the screen protector nicely adhered to the screen, keeps the shattered pieces from touching your display at all. It is called the Glass TR because the edges are rounded and it also has a hardness of 8 to 9H. That is talking about the most scale of hardness, which is the mineral hardness or what will scratch the screen. So I'm going to do some demos for you. I have a nice piece of sandpaper to show you and I've also got some metal objects so you can see what this can withstand. It has an oleophobic coating which makes it amazingly easy to get the fingerprints off. And it's also perfectly transparent. It's like the screen protector isn't even on there except for the small bit of thickness that it adds to the display. Inside the package itself, you have a sleeve that contains the glass screen protector, which also contains the installation instructions on the back. You've got a little alcohol swab, which I definitely recommend using and I see people forgetting to use all the time. I will talk about installation in a moment. It comes with these six gel-like buttons, which lets you personalize the device yourself. You can see I've used a couple of these. It comes with two blacks, two whites, a pink, and a yellow. You've also got a very high quality microfiber cloth. You've also got a squeegee and your card, which is proof of authenticity. You can see that this is your official Spigen product. The first thing to note is that this screen protector is going to add a little bit of thickness to your phone. It is 0.55 millimeters thick. The thing is that I really have not minded that added thickness. Actually, it's been quite welcome because the iPhone 5 is so thin that I often feel that it doesn't have any substance to the phone whatsoever. If you're someone who really loves the very thin form factor of this phone and don't want to change that up, then I recommend looking elsewhere for a screen protector. But if you are someone who is like me and you notice that not really cheap feeling, but not as substantial feeling as I'd like to, this does help with that a lot. It adds some weight to this and it adds some extra feeling of strength to this phone. It is much stronger actually. Of course it's much stronger. It's a Gorilla Glass display on top of a Gorilla Glass display. You must know that Gorilla Glass is actually a generic term. Many companies out there make Gorilla Glasses just tempered glass that's been chemically processed. So yes, I can say Gorilla Glass. At the right angle, you can see along the side here that reflectance that's going back and forth. The edge is rounded. It is not a straight edge. Your finger goes across the screen and falls off, and it feels very nice on that curve there. I actually feel that this screen protector improves the usability and the experience of this phone. There's a reason that these companies do this. It just feels so much more clean and natural and not as sharp on your fingers as you are spending hours reading through web pages or endlessly scrolling through icons. It's a complete win. Look how absolutely gorgeous this retina display looks with this panel on top of it. You cannot see it on there at all. Although the added thickness is going to add a tad bit more glare. Alright, I have successfully and nastily gummed up this screen protector here. I'm going to take it to just my pants that I'm wearing right now, rub it against it for a few swipes, bring it on back, and you can see that it is now perfectly clean. Love it!
Good luck finding another screen protector that has that type of oleophobic abilities. Whew. Installation is fairly simple if you use the proper technique. The first thing that you want to do, as a first and foremost, is to use this alcohol swab that they give you. Alcohol is very evaporative and it will also help to break down any of the debris or finger oils that is left on the screen so that you can be sure it's squeaky clean so that the adhesive layer can adhere properly to the glass below it. Now check this out here. See this? See that? That is blanket fuzz or some kind of fuzz because I was careless when applying the screen protector and it's very easy for particles in the air and other things to get underneath it and once you apply this you get one shot. You get one shot at installing the screen protector because if you pull it up you end up compromising the adhesive which is what you're seeing here and you get bubbling in places that you shouldn't. You can also see around the corners and along the home button that I do have some issues with bubbling. If you do it correct the first time, you do not have to worry about it bubbling up like this. So I recommend going into a bathroom, turning on your shower, waiting about five minutes, make sure that your shower is at the highest temperature possible, and close the door. That way you are creating effectively a sauna in there so that all the dust will settle. So when you go to apply your screen protector, you don't have to worry about all these little bits and things that get underneath. It's kind of gross and it looks horrible and you ruin the whole experience by doing this. I find that the best way to install this is once you have a nice steamy bathroom, remove the protective back coating that is keeping that adhesive clean. Hold it between your four fingers like I'm demonstrating here. Line it up with the display as close as you can without letting it touch the display. Do not let it touch the display at all. Once you're positive that you have it lined up properly, drop it and tap the center of your display here and you will see the adhesive move across the screen and it will stick perfectly. You won't have any issues except for maybe some bubbling at first, which is why you have a squeegee. Just push out those bubbles. Within a couple hours they will be gone entirely and you should have a perfect end result. I actually feel really bad that I did what I did. I was just testing it out to see how bad the result would be if I got dust stuck underneath or if I placed it wrong the first time. Yes, if you don't do it the way that I'm instructing, you'll get dust, you'll get bubbles. It's not so pretty. If you would like, you can use one of the many button options that they include here for you. The one that looks best is definitely the black. I tried out a yellow one, I tried out a white one. They just didn't look as nice. This looks very natural here. It doesn't protrude upward and it's very easy to press. They come off relatively easy and you can stick it back onto this plastic here and set that aside. Now you can see that home button. It is recessed a little bit, but it doesn't cause any issues with pressing the button itself. So it's your choice for the home button. Personally, I have liked it better with it just plain. Of course, we have to try out some casing options with this guy here. So any of Spigen's cases will work just fine with this screen protector on here. They actually recommend that you use one of their cases because it doesn't go all the way to the edge and there is a greater chance of you cracking this protector if you don't have a case to at least protect the leeway that you have between where the screen protector ends and the edge of your screen. So we have a couple of speaking cases here. This is the Neo Hybrid X and this is the Ultra Thin Air case. So let's go ahead. This one is a bumper for the iPhone 5 and I'll be reviewing both of these as well. So it's very simple to put this guy on. This band doesn't have any issues whatsoever with this screen protector. It stops just short of where this glass starts. We now have it installed correctly and as you can see it is a viable option for this screen protector. I actually really like this combination. You can see that you have the back open there and very nice protection on the front. Fantastic there. So any of speaking cases should work just fine. To prove a point, let's go ahead and put the ultra thin air case on. So you can see that this also works out just fine, this ultra thin air case. I don't like that the screen protector is still exposed just as if not using a case at all. But if you're someone who wants to protect the back while not adding any more bulk that's necessary because you already have this bulky screen protector, this should do just fine as well. Here we have some third party options. This is the Sadio Active Case and we have the backing. It works just fine with the silicone on it and it doesn't interfere with the glass. But as soon as you put the skeleton on it, it has a little bit of trouble hugging those edges. 
You can see that the fit is all right, but you have a little bit of bubbling in the silicone. It's coming apart from the sides of the phone because this skeleton is putting some pressure on that silicone. So it's not gonna sit nicely, but you can use it just fine. How about thin rigid cases like the Sadio Surface case? Well, let's show you what exactly happens here. Seems to be all right. It's quite a tight fit along the corners. Kind of forcing our way in here. And we can go ahead and put the bottom in. That didn't sound good. That was actually just a clipping over the side because I had it uneven. So look what we end up with. It's not able to close all the way and it leaves kind of a weird gap happening here that I don't find desirable. The glass doesn't stop short enough for you to be able to fit one of these rigid cases on all the way. If you don't mind it looking like this and having a gap here where you can get dirt and other things in there, it could be an option, but I really don't recommend this. So we are now only left with some durability tests. I have not acquired a single scratch on this screen protector. It is an eight to nine on the most scale of hardness. So anything like keys or coins is not gonna scratch this. What will scratch it is sand, silt, other hard minerals like that that are floating in the air and are ever abundant on this planet, can end up in your pocket, that can scratch this. But things that are soft like metals won't. So let's show you what I mean. Keys, keys, keys are scratching my phone. Try not to ruin my chamfer edges. And we're going to give it a wipe down. That looks nice. So after wiping it off, you can see that it has fared very well against those keys. But what I want to try out is scratching it against the sandpaper of death. This is the purple sandpaper of death. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, ready for this? Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> so just say that you're walking about and you drop your phone and it skims across the asphalt or sand on the pavement that happens to be sitting there. Na -na 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 -na. Okay, that, that's enough for me. Yeah. Point taken, that, oh, ah, eh, ah, ah. <laughs> it was so pretty a minute ago, oh, sand is not your friend, you see now, you see it. One final thing now is to do a break test, let's go ahead and remove it from the screen now that it looks absolutely atrocious, so it's easy to remove, you can see that it's bubbling up there, my camera's freaking out on me. Hopefully I won't snap it as I am taking it. Oop. Oh, I snapped it. Oh, I snapped it again. Now, you see what I'm saying here? There's a reason that it's snapping right now. It's because those deep scratches, like I said, ruins the integrity of the hardness of Gorilla Glass. You see it, I have proved my point. It is snapping from the edges where it has the deepest scratches. Now, let's see if I can actually get this off the phone. Even with that glass cracking, you can see that my iPhone has remained unscathed with it cracking beneath it. Let me show you what this glass looks like. This is the silicone part that I am touching underneath and I cannot feel that scratch on the other side of it at all. So I am very confident that if you were to drop your phone with this, that you're not gonna have any issues with it causing any scratching on your screen. That's absolutely brilliant. But you can definitely see the results of having scratches in your Gorilla Glass. It just weakens the glass entirely. Ooh. Yes, that silicone layer. You still can't feel those scratches underneath it. Now we have one very damaged screen protector and I am very satisfied with these results. Trash can. So thank you everybody for watching. This has been Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff. My iPhone 5 now feels like it has no substance. Gotta run and get a different screen protector now before I cause scratches to my display and weaken it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can be my friend on Facebook. I promise I will accept you. And you can also follow me on Google+. You get to all that by getting to my YouTube main channel page on the right hand side 
and you can click on those links there. I will accept you on Facebook. I've been using it as a forum. If you have any questions for me, you can ask me there. There's also other people and subscribers from my channel that you can interact with if I'm not able to answer at first. So thank you so much, Vegan, for sending this out to me and letting me completely destroy it. Spigen.com, I completely recommend this screen protector. My absolute favorite screen protector of any. It's completely awesome. And now you see exactly why. Have a wonderful evening, everybody.